Hello everyone, how are you guys all doing? Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And today we're here with another video, and today's video will be on skill cape perks and what my personal favorites are, along with what I think are the most practical to use in-game for the average person. So if you guys have been living under a rock, in December of 2015, Jagex introduced skill cape perks into the game as an added incentive or advantage to those who get 99 in a skill. It was really used as a way to kind of congratulate people that got 99 and also give an added perk towards the end of a skill grind where necessarily you may not be rewarded with new content. With that said, in May of 2017, Jagex has also added a few added perks, kind of changing up the whole game and making some skill cape perks a little more useful than they used to be before, and that is what motivated me to make this video in particular. So with that said, this video can be very helpful for people that do not know what necessarily they want to train, they may be stuck between a couple different skills and don't really know what to do, and this can kind of act as a tiebreaker for them. With that said, let's go ahead and get on into number five. So at number five, we have the arranged cape skill perk. Now the defense is plus nine across the board, and since it is trimmed as a plus four prayer, this is standard across the board, so it's not just exclusive to range. However, the range cape itself has the added effect of an Avis accumulator. If you guys are not aware of what the Avis accumulator does, it retrieves your arrows from you whenever you shoot them at a monster. So this cape gives you all of the bonuses on defense along with a plus four prayer and the added perk of the Avis accumulator. However, for some reason, Jax has left this out and they decide not not to allow you to gain the plus four range attack bonus that the Avis Accumulator does, which may be what is keeping this at number five. So coming in at number four, we have the Slayer Skill Cape perk. So Slayer is really a lifestyle, and with most skills after hitting 99, most players will stop doing whatever they're doing unless they're going for a mass amount of XP and maybe high scores. However, with Slayer, it becomes more of the way you live when you play RuneScape. It's something that can be profitable, and for the most part, you're always doing something different, so it always feels kind of new to you. So that's why a lot of people tend to go on past 99 Slayer, which is why this skill cape perk is useful. And the skill cape perk for Slayer is a 10% chance of being able to get the same task that you were just assigned. Now this is very helpful for people after hitting 99 Slayer that may be looking for money in certain tasks like maybe gargoyles or wyverns or boss tasks. They could be looking to get up their boss KC along with maybe a pet or certain drops maybe for Iron Man. And that is why this skill cape perk is really useful. So coming in at number 3 we have the smithing skill cape perk. Now the smithing skill cape perk allows you to use the smithing cape as if it were gold gauntlets and this is huge when going to blast furnace as when you do the blast furnace mini game once you put ores such as gold ores which is what most people use for XP and smithing whenever you use the ores on the furnace and they come back through you have to switch from goldsmith gauntlets to ice gauntlets to instantly allow the furnace to cool you can also use a bucket of water on the furnace however either way you're doing an extra step that is no longer needed with the smithing cape and also so it allows you to have an extra inventory space so that you don't have to have the extra glove or the bucket of water. Now this is really only useful for post 99 which is why it's only number 3 on the list. However for those people that are going for maybe 200 mil, uh, by the time they've reached 99 smithing they're only 6% of the way to where they need to be so this should ease their pain along the other 94. So now coming in at number 2 we have two capes for this one. One being the lower form of the other. So the lower form that we have for the first one is the quest cape. Now the quest cape is a cape that that can teleport you to the Legends Guild if you choose so. And by teleporting there, you're within a few steps of a Fairy Ring. Now, Fairy Rings are very useful for stuff like Zora and teleporting around the game in general, more so for things like Clue Scrolls. That's a very useful teleport for many people, and it's quite nice to have. However, if you have 99 construction, you can also have a maxed out house, obviously, and you can have a Fairy Ring within your house. And the construction cape provides teleports to your house, which you're then next to a Fairy Ring, an altar, a pool, pretty much anything you need within seconds which is why the construction cape is number two however the lesser form of it that you could also use that would be a little worse off would be the quest cape so the only honorable mention of this video comes in the form of the defense cape. The skill cape perk of the defense cape is to act as an unlimited use of a ring of life. Now this isn't useful for the average person as death mechanics have been changed in game and there's no real fear of dying as most places in the game you can get back to within an hour of your death so you're relatively safe. However for hardcore Iron Man that can be an entirely different story and having a 99 defense cape as an unlimited ring of life could be very efficient as far as gaining experience on your account and progressing allowing you to have a ring slot open and instead just using a cape slot instead as your form of safety. 
So coming in at number one, we have probably one of the most widely applicable skill cape perks within the game, as you can use this perk whenever you're doing practically anything, and that comes in the form of the crafting cape perk. And the crafting cape perk allows you to teleport to the crafting guild, and upon completion of the hard Falador diary, you're able to access the bank within the guild. And by having access to this cape and bank, you then allow yourself to have a constant teleport to one of the quickest chests to get to in the game, a teleport that, mind you, does not degrade there's no there's no limit to the amount of times that you can use this you never have to worry about grabbing another ring as you would with the ring of dueling and that's mostly why this cape is one of the most coveted skill cape perks within the game but with that said that'll be it for this video so hopefully you guys enjoyed if you guys did make sure to leave a like if you guys like my content make sure to hit that sub button anything you guys want me to go ahead and put my favorites of in the future go ahead and comment those suggestions down below and I might make a video on them but with that said I hope you guys have a wonderful day and peace. Also make sure to join large EXP lamp. Two E's. Two E's. Now to finish off the video, I thought it'd be a good idea to ask whoever at Jagex thought the fire making skill cape allowing you to have a light source would be the best idea in the world. Like, when is this perk of a skill cape applicable? Anywhere you're going to go within the game, for the most part, you will not need this cape. And anything that you're going to do, such as a quest where you may need some sort of lighting, that's already done by the time you got 99 fire making for the most part. So I do not understand that. And that is easily is the worst skill cape perk.